Hello, hello, hello everybody. It is Mia with Southern Willow Crafting and I am here tonight with a fun project. So um, I'm gonna get my camera set up so that we can get going, but I thought that you guys would enjoy watching this. Now, once again, I haven't done this full project <laughs> <laughs> on my own. So I thought that, you know, you guys are always so good and helpful. I thought maybe you guys could help me through this. So let me get my camera turned around and we will get started and you guys can definitely be a part of this project with me. Um, I did do some prep work. I will tell you that. I did do some prep work. Let me get so I can see what you guys are seeing. And uh, here we go. All right, and I'm going to share this on, whoopsie, on my <clears throat> boutique page. Let's see here, sorry. And we are gonna, this, okay. Using Dixie Belle, comma, chalk couture, and some beautiful paint. Okay. I love how text to talk changes my chalk couture to Chuck Couture. <laughs> it's too funny. How is everybody doing tonight? I hope you guys are doing well. And Dollar Tree items, we will upcycle this garden pot. I wish I could do this beforehand and you guys, I tried to use my new system tonight, but it just wasn't fully ready. And so um, hopefully by the next time I go live, I will have everything set up and good to go. All right. Hi, Sherry. How are you? Hi, Stephen. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Brooke. Everybody, thank you for logging in and seeing what I got going on. Okay. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of space here, hopefully. Hi, Janet. All right, you guys. We are going to be upcycling some Dollar Tree... Uh, garden pots and they're just plastic. Hey Charlene, how are you? Uh, just plastic. Um, they're pretty green. I actually kind of like the green, but because they're plastic, um, I'm going to show you guys what I had to do. But I have, and we have so many transfers that would work, but we have this beautiful rose transfer and I thought how pretty would that be to put that on the outside of this pot? So, um, that is what we are going to attempt tonight. Now, I will tell you, hi, Donna. I will tell you, working on a curved surface, not always the easiest thing to do. So, um, we're going we're gonna to see how this works. All right. So, the first thing that I did, I'm going to put these side by side. Hopefully, you guys can see them if I do this. So, this is what it looks like, and I did get them at Dollar Tree. This is what it looked like when I bought it, okay? All right. This I did prep last night. So Dixie Bell has a product called Slick Stick. Okay, say that three times really fast. Um, but what it does is it takes and makes any slick surface into a paintable surface. Um, so it bonds to glossy and other hard, shiny surfaces and allows an effective painting surface to to be you know done so the instructions on it um, state to clean and dry your surface so it's free of all waxes oils dust peeling rust paint all that stuff if necessary wash with white lightning which is another Dixie Bell product but after prep coat the entire surface let it dry for one hour and then recoat it uh, clean the equipment so I just put um, to be honest with you guys I just did one coat last night um, and then let it sit overnight. I don't think I need a second coat. I guess we'll find out, okay? But that's the Dixie Bell Slick Stick. Um, I have used it on mirrors. I have used it on uh, glass inside of picture frames for when I wanted to paint it with a surface and then do a transfer on top. So anyways, so again, this is the before. This is what it looks like after. And it is a nice, pretty even, it kind of levels. It's, it doesn't need a whole lot of sanding or buffing. I did miss a few spots, but um, that was because it's plastic. So that's why I think the second coat is good. But we're going to see, you guys. We're going to roll with it. All right, so now I have to choose a paint color. And I was thinking either Bunker Hill Blue. Okay, that's Bunker Hill Blue. Or, 
or 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 sound like a um I have sound like a what is it a dolphin I have a bright pink peony I don't have a ton of Dixie Belle colors I have a few um I, no I'm not doing drop cloth and I'm not doing green because that's how it originally started I'm thinking the navy and then doing those roses in white to be honest what do you guys think of that I do have a barn red and then we could do the roses in white so what do you guys think Bunker Hill blue or red um either one hi Sarah how are you so which one do you guys think while well, you guys are discussing this amongst yourselves I forgot I need to show this to my crafting group so what do you guys think do, 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 do. let me know I'm interested to hear what you guys think um, I'm okay either way I've got two of them because for some reason do you guys have this problem for some reason when I go to buy something even if it's something I'm trying for the first time I can't buy just one <laughs> I have to buy two and maybe it's because I know there's a really good chance I'm gonna have my Pinterest fail moment and I'm gonna need that second one that's what I'm thinking all right so either red or blue um, which would be nice patriotic colors and you don't have to use the Dixie Belle acrylic or uh, chalk paints like you guys know. I, I like using them because they dry quickly. It has a nice even coat. Um, it just works well for me. So um, that's why I use their products. And, um, you know, it's a little bit more than what you're going to pay in, you know, for acrylic paints, but it goes a lot farther. I mean, these paints have lasted me quite a while. All right, guys, so I'm waiting for your opinions. If you don't give me one, I'm going to choose one, which is fine, too. <laughs> if you guys could sprinkle the love, too, if you think this is a project any of your friends would like, any of your crafting friends, and sprinkle the love, I would appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to do the Bunker Hill Blue. That's what we're going to do. If you guys are commenting, I apologize. I'm not seeing it, um, so I'm not ignoring you. All right. We're going to shake that up a little bit. I'm going to grab ooh, a paintbrush without tipping all of my paintbrushes over. I got some new paintbrushes the other day. All right, we're going to do our workout program here and get this container opened. Okay, so Bunker Hill Blue it is. All right, and what I'm going to do. As I told you guys before, I always squirt the end of my brush with a little bit of water. Um, just kind of giving it a nice beaded layer of water on the outside so the paint adheres to that and not so much into the bristles of the, of the brush. And we are just going to paint. And this is awesome, you guys. I mean, I should probably try to paint that plastic pot um, without the slick stick on it so you guys can see the difference. But it literally it treats it just like any other paintable surface, which is what I I really love. I like this product a lot. I don't use it, you know, um, with everything. Just usually when I'm working with very slick surfaces, glass, plastic, um, anything like that, I will prep it with the slick stick. So really cool. You guys, tomorrow is Friday. I'm so excited. I love Fridays. Friday nights, really. One of my favorite days of the week. All right. So what else have you guys got going on? I'm excited. What would you guys put in this pot? What are your favorite flowers? Or would you put flowers in here? What would you put in here? I don't have a green thumb to save my life. Luckily, my husband's okay. I'm pretty good at it. Um, and he enjoys, well, I can't, I, I can't say he enjoys yard work, but he does not mind it. I, I mean, he grew up on a farm, on a, a small, small, small farm um, with a big garden uh, for him growing up because it was like a hobby for his parents. They sold it on the uh, fruits and vegetables and stuff on the side and had cows and chickens and all that stuff and so he grew up waking up early in the morning and doing chores and all that stuff and 
I can appreciate it and I value it. I just don't have the desire to work a garden in my head. Mentally, I do. I think I was talking about this the other night. Mentally, I have the desire to work a garden because I love the idea of it. But I think I'm just too lazy. <laughs> I just don't have the physical desire to do it. All right, this is where working with, well, really any surface because you're going to have areas that you need to paint that you still have to hold on to. I should have created something to hold this. It's kind of like when I did that globe a while ago. Did you guys, I don't know if you guys saw me do that project. That thing kept rolling away from me. It was so hard. Turned out beautiful though. I definitely learn when I come live with you guys because again, I'm a glutton for punishment and I try these projects oftentimes for the very first time with you guys. So I could have just used that transfer right on the plastic, to be honest with you, with the green, but I have a feeling that it eventually would wear over time a lot quicker than it will if it's on a painted surface, right? Um, because it's just so slick. So uh, that's what made me want to uh, paint this and kind of do an upcycle. Um, with the paint because I, I do think that, you know, Chalk Couture goes pretty much on any surface, but uh, with those plastic slick surfaces, I think it would uh, wear faster or maybe even not seal properly. I don't know. I guess I could try it and see, but anyways. All right, so let's hit this with the blow dryer. We're gonna do another quick coat and then, and the second coat will go much faster because it's just a nice sealed coat or coating, and then we will get to using the transfer. Ooh. a really great first layer pretty dry this is why you oh not completely dry I missed a spot this is why I like using the chalk paints because they do dry fairly quickly but as you can see I accidentally my fingers hit a few spots but that's okay and again we're just gonna add a second layer just to ensure that we have a nice coating I missed a spot up here too. I hit it and whew. all right. I love this royal blue. If you guys um one of the trends actually this year is a royal blue or blues, dark navy blue colors. I shouldn't say royal blue, navy blue. There is a difference. Um and I am attracted to blues recently. All different shades of blue. What about you guys? Do you like blue? Is blue one of your colors? I tell you, it used to not be, but I find myself attracted to it, and I don't know why. All right, guys, I cannot wait to see this rose transfer on this project. It's gonna be so pretty. Um, we have a couple of, uh, transfers that are strictly just design pieces that I think are just beautiful and would look good on several of these. So you get about, you know, three, you know, I always do things in odd numbers, three or five of these pots 
and then do a different design on each one and create like a little cluster of plants or just do one and put it in the corner of your front porch. How incredibly pretty would that be? I have a little bit of, I don't know if you guys can see, it's where it didn't dry completely. This is my fault. It's not really the product per se. I didn't let that dry and when I wiped it with a new layer, it pulled that paint over a little bit and so it's caused a little smudge. Um, so I would recommend waiting until your paint is dry before adding that second layer. Make sure you, you dry it pretty well. But as you guys know, I'm not a very patient person. The fact that I added the slick stick last night and then let it sit overnight and waited till tonight to do the live is pretty freaking amazing, to be honest. I am usually not that patient. I get excited about a project and it's in my head and then I have to do it right then and there. But please say hello if you're here. I'll check the comments in a second. Kind of hard right now because I've got my hands full and for some reason Facebook doesn't like just stream the comments to me. I have to hit the screen for it to show me any comments. But please say hello if you're here. Okay. We are going to hit this with the blow dryer. Oh, make sure I haven't missed any comments. Nope, you guys are pretty quiet tonight. I'll show you guys and this was where I just wasn't patient and didn't dry it all the way you can see little bumps right there but otherwise in areas where it dried completely it's just a nice smooth surface so that slick stick worked really well I just want to make sure Okay, so for the transfer, I was thinking about using just white, okay? Um, now we could, if we wanted to be kind of, um, you know, kind of funky color or pretty, I could use like a teal or a light blue, you know, make it kind of really pop. Um, so I'll show you guys. I'm thinking just pure white because you guys know me, I'm very simple. <laughs> I tend not to deviate too much from simple elegance, uh, but I could do that, the white, or let me find where a blue, like, or like this color blue against it. What do you guys think? Should I go cool breeze or bright white? Hi, Nancy. Cool breeze or bright white? What do you guys think? And like I said, it's just chalk. I could erase it later if I didn't like it. Or I have another one. <laughs> so truly, I could, you know, and it's a Dollar Tree pot. So really, it's just a little bit of Dixie Belle paint and a use of my transfer and some paste. So it's not a huge expense if we don't like it. And I'm thinking, I'm wondering if I should cut this transfer. It's a hard one to cut because they're really isn't any lines per se. I think I'll just, I'll try to keep it in its full form. I think I'm gonna do this 
as it stands here. So what do you guys think? Cool breeze or white? What do you guys think? Do, do, I'll play the little Jeopardy tune. There are some areas that I really should have dried better before I painted it, but that's okay. Cool breeze or white? Cool breeze, bright white. Diana says bright white. Thank you, Diana. All right. I'll wait a couple seconds for another vote here. I think the bright white's gonna be a very classic, pretty look, to be honest with you. All right, you guys, let me know what you're thinking. <laughs> uh, so right now, um, to let you guys know, I am talking all fun things garden and all that stuff in my crafting group and how we can design um you know flower pots and garden uh designs and all of that stuff so if you guys are interested a lot of times i go live with the project here but then i extend that into my crafting group and we just have a lot of fun talking about things and then i also offer bundles and deals and stuff like that on my chalk couture products so um so if you're interested in joining my VIP group, then just type the word VIP in the comments and you will get a message on how to join it. It is a crafting group. It's a lot of fun. Um, feel free to join it. Oh, Julie saying teal. So I have one vote each. Guys, I need at least one more vote to break the tie. One more vote to break the tie. One more vote, guys. I'll sit and wait a second. I will fuzz my transfer while we wait. So this, I have not used this transfer yet. It is fresh out of the package. And normally our transfers are reusable. So when I'm done with this project, I'll clean it off and then put it right back on this, on this white backer. Um, but because we are using it on a new surface and especially kind of a, a painted surface, let's say, we need to add a little bit of fuzz oh no it's sticking with that fuzz to the back of our transfer because they're very sticky and if it's too sticky it might pull some of that paint off and uh it may ruin my transfer so i don't i don't want that to happen and if you guys ever have this happen to you my transfer just folded on itself you can lightly pull it apart and if that does not work, if, you, if you're pulling it and you feel like you're ripping the transfer or stretching the transfer, then just put it in uh, some, you know, lukewarm water and let it sit. And then you can, um, you can pull it apart there. So don't fear if it does fold on itself or get stuck to itself. It happens, you guys. Um, I'm not going to say that you didn't ruin the transfer. If there's a chance, it just depends on how, how <laughs> kind of stuck it got. But many many times you can save it so don't don't fret um if you don't have a fuzzing cloth you guys you can just use your shirt you can use your pants you can use a towel a terry cloth towel so many different things super easy thank you julie you are such a good moderator yeah i just need to know what you guys think i've got a, a navy blue guard garden pot that I'm going to put these rose transfers on and I need to know should I do the roses in teal or white teal or white so again I'm just fuzzing the back of this transfer to, to take some of that stickiness away it doesn't ruin the transfer I will when I clean it a lot of that sticky will come right back I don't know the science behind it I just know it does so <laughs> Something about cleaning it and, you know, hitting it with a little bit of water and disinfectant wipe will bring that right back. Seven people. Oh, <laughs> yes. Come on, guys. Somebody else vote. I just need one more vote because I want to break the tie. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? All right. One more vote, guys. Either teal or white up against this navy blue. Teal or white?
Teal is gonna be pretty, I love navy and teal together. White is gonna be very classic. Okay, so I've got, <laughs> I've got one white, two whites, two teals. Oh my goodness, you guys. Two whites and two teals. Huh. Oh, the challenge continues, you guys. What should we do? All right. So because this is a curved surface that offers a challenge, <laughs> but that's why I like that these are sticky. So because there's a lip on this, you guys, all right? So on this lip, I'm gonna leave this solid color and I'm gonna do the transfer from here down because navigating that lip is gonna be a little uh, difficult, I think. So, all right, did we get one more vote? I need an odd number of votes. We have an even number of votes right now. And if not, I'm just going to blindly pick one. Okay. All right, we're gonna put this at the bottom of that lip. And the bottom, Woo! I might need to cut this transfer, y'all. I think I'm gonna cut it, which we can do. We can cut them. Um, let me do it this way. Uh, this, These types are a little bit harder because, oh, you know what I can do? This is what I can do where I don't have to cut it. I'm gonna cut this and lay it on the bottom so it's not sticking to everything. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> you guys, smarter, not harder. I love it when a great idea happens. All right, so I'm going to fold this in half just so I know where the center is. And then we're going to cut this in half because that's the problem. It's not so much, I mean, it's a little bit of a problem that it's so big, but it's sticking to everything. And so I don't want to ruin my transfer because it happens to be sticking to stuff. So. Let's see if I cut a big enough piece here. We're gonna do this. Okay, so that way, can I vote twice? <laughs> no, you can't. Denise, all right, Melanie, you might be this the, the deciding vote here. You just joined. <laughs> Welcome to the live. All right, we have a navy blue garden pot uh, container we have upcycled we painted it blue it started out green plastic I painted it blue we're trying to decide if I should do this rose transfer on it in either a teal or a white and I need one vote to because I have an even vote for each side so should we do teal or white Melanie it's all on you <laughs> and it, it will be beautiful either way but we have even votes and uh, I just want to, yeah, I can't decide because I think they're both going to be pretty. Part of my conservative side steps in and goes, yeah, let's just, let's just keep it uh, white. But then my fun, funky side goes, ooh, but the teal will be so pretty. I love teal and blue together. Teal. Okay, Melanie, you got it. She's the deciding vote, guys. Thank you, Melanie. I appreciate you voting okay now this is a curved surface like i said so it's got its challenges you guys okay so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna do it this way all right and what we gotta do is make sure that we get the um air bubbles out of course i have to choose like a really difficult transfer right i couldn't choose one that just says like locally grown or <laughs> something quick and easy, right? I had to choose something with this really beautiful pattern to it. Okay. What I'm gonna do is try to get this top portion done. Whoops, you guys, and we'll have to see. And maybe we'll just do a trim around the top. Maybe I won't do the whole pot. You know, these are all things that I'm kind of learning as I'm trying to lay this out. Just do enough where it's around the top and it's just like a pretty trim to it. Let's see how that turns out. Okay. Once I get this set. Oh, thank you.
Thanks, Melanie. I appreciate that. Okay, so I think now that I know I'm just going to do that top portion, I do that. See how it's just readjustable and reusable? I mean, it's that's the great thing I like about our transfers is I'm not ruining the transfer. I know it might look like it, but truly I'm not. All right, so we got our teal paste. We're going to, oh, it's not been opened yet. Okay, let's see if we have one that's open. That's aquamarine. It's a very similar color. Let's see if this is ready. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of water to my paste and stir it up. So our paste is also chalk based, okay? Um, and because this will go out, in, I'm assuming it will go out into a garden. If it turns out well, I might sell it at the boutique, but if it goes into a garden, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it with a poly acrylic spray and that will seal in the chalk paste and then that way I know it's not going to run it kind of makes it permanent which is the other great thing um, but like I said if for some reason we don't like this I can erase it before I seal it and then choose a different design right okay all right guys we're going in and what you do is you just put the paste and because this has a big design, I'm not, um, I'm trying to just find a stopping point. It's not going to be even all the way around, just saying. Okay. So you just wipe it on, spread the chalk paste on, and then pull off the excess, okay? All right, chalk paste on and pull off the excess. Now, again, like I've always said, it's chalk paste, so it is gonna start to dry fairly quickly. So I wanna just do a little section and then pull it up. And, um, and then move on. Let me see if I can get this section done without it drying on me too much. And do your best to get the air bubbles out. Um, because it's a curved surface, it is a little bit harder. I will say if I had worked with a smaller transfer or, um, you know, just something that had a word on it or something, it would have been much easier. But you guys know me. I'm a glutton for punishment. I like doing things that are challenging for the first time on a live. I mean, why wouldn't I? <laughs> All right, guys, let's pull this up and see how this looks. OMG. What a pretty design. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, hold on. let me put this transfer a little bit to the side because I'm gonna have to clean that off really quick. But look at this, you guys. It adds just a really nice decorative piece, right? You see kind of the roses here, a little bit of a bud here, a little bit of the flower or the leaf, and some of the French writing in the back. All right, so let me show you how I clean the transfer so that we can use it again. And I will keep going around, and maybe I will do the whole pot. I don't know, we'll have to see how this goes going around. We're kind of learning as we go, especially with it being a curved surface. Okay, so what do you guys think so far? Type yay if you're loving it, nay if you're thinking, mm, no, not my jam. <laughs> That's okay. Quite all right. Look at this. I treat my surface so bad here. Okay, and so I just take a disinfectant wipe. If you don't like using disinfectant wipes, or if you're in short supply and can't find them, you can certainly use just water and, and, and a uh, paper towel, okay? Um, it does not have to be a disinfectant wipe. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with my blow dryer because you don't wanna put it on wet because uh, then the paste will smear. Also, um, turn on the cool setting. I 
turn it on the cool setting um, because I don't want it to get too hot because I don't want it to melt my transfer, to be honest. Okay, so let's go back. I'm going to hit this with the blow dryer now because if I do lay anything back down on it, I don't want it to cool up. <laughs> Okay, so what are you guys thinking? Are you liking? Love it. Oh, good. Wow, love it. Oh, those are good comments. I'm good with that. And like I said, if you don't like it, that's okay too. Just one of those things. All right, so I don't know if... I was hoping I would find that flower. Let's see here. We are just going to pretend that that is an addition to that. That's the one great thing about these kind of um, oops, abstract scenes is if I don't match it up perfectly, you would never know. Okay, so I'm kind of learning. I'm going to do this. Oops. I'm going to lay this down. guys we're gonna pull this tight okay let's keep going boom but what a cute idea right so for a dollar I got these pots at the Dollar Tree and for a dollar I'm upcycling them into a a design that I want and I think is pretty and you're not going to find anywhere else really. Okay, I'm going to keep rolling here. And like I said, we have so many designs you guys. I mean, I it, there, the opportunity for design choices, I'm not going to say are endless, but there's so many that Chalk Couture has that are so pretty. And um, I just thought, you know, being a garden pot, the roses would be, would be pretty. And I was hoping that they would convey, you know, because sometimes when you have a very busy pattern, you can't see the forest through the trees type of a thing. But I'm hoping... That's not the case with this, that once we pull it all up and kind of make it all work, the pattern will be clear, but time will tell. Okay, we're gonna pull this up because I'm having a hard time. Oh my gosh, you guys, so pretty. I am missing the boat, I am missing the edging a little bit. I'm a little low, but I don't think it's gonna make a huge deal when I when I go to lay it down, so let me Finish this up, pull this over. And like I said, I'm not caring or really caring about matching up the design. Maybe I should, but I'm not. I mean, we have polka dot transfers, we've got the Aztec designs, we've got, you know, farmhouse words and different things. We've got flowers, um, a little bit of everything, actually. We have to see how this one fared going a little bit lower. Let's see. Hopefully you guys are still with me. Let me tell you, chalking is just kind of soothing. And I mean, it's like instant gratification, <laughs> which is nice. All right, so we're gonna pull that up. Okay, you guys, so this is our first time around. I think I am gonna continue it around the bottom and keep going because um, I was a little, I did get a little crazy up here. And look, watch this, because I went a little too high, I literally, it's like I can just erase it.
Isn't that cool? That's the cool thing about the chalk paste. But like I said, when it's all said and done, and if I like it and I'm going to put it outside, I'm just going to spray it with the poly acrylic and it will make it last forever. I did. I got really wonky over here. I think I might redo that section. All right. So watch this guys. I'm going to redo this because I went way too low. I wouldn't mind if it was a little off, but that is a little too low. So the one thing I do have to be careful is because I just painted it with the Dixie Belle and it hasn't really had time to cure, let's say. I might end up pulling some of that Dixie Belle paint up, but we can just re-hit it with, the, with more paint. All right, let me get another. Doo -doo 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 -doo. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a paper towel. Where are my paper towels? Where are my paper towels at? All right, paper towel. I'm going to squirt it with some water. Okay, sorry. My OCD is just kicking in just a little bit with it. Like I said, I, I tend not to be overly picky, but this was way off. And I want it to, to at least match up um, in placement. Isn't this cool, you guys? So look, if we didn't like the teal, this is all we had to do. And we could have just done it in the white. That's what I love about this product. Or let's say it was, you know, it's spring or summer, and then I wanted to do pumpkins for the fall. As long as it's not sealed, and even if it is sealed a little bit, you know, depending on how much you do or what product you use, you might be able to get it off. It just take a lot more effort. Um, and then I could put pumpkins on it, and we're good to go. Okay, so let me hit this with the blue dryer. Woo! And let me clean my surface, and we're going to redo that. And... Um, We'll go back around and then we'll do the next layer. Those other two layers went a lot faster than the first one. I think definitely uh, learning here what works and what doesn't. And normally I don't mind cutting my transfers, but with ones like these that don't have distinct lines or a distinct breaking point, I try not to. But, you know, if, if it's required, I'll do it. Okay. All right, so let me hit the transfer with the blow dryer and then we'll get back at it, guys. All right, are you guys still hanging with me? Have I lost you? <laughs> okay, so again, isn't that cool how we could just erase it and then come back to it? I love that. All right, so. Let's then put this back up here. Okay. And they say we can use our transfers about eight to 10 times, but I'm gonna tell you, um, many of us have used them um, so much more than that. It just depends on how well you take care of your transfer, meaning you clean it, you don't let it sit in water for too long, uh, you keep it in a nice dry uh, place. Am I doing that in the right? Yeah, I'll do. Um, in a nice dry place, then, you know, you might get a lot more use out of your transfer. I think because there's that little bit of a lip on the transfer, that's where I'm losing some of that space, but it's much closer than it was. Hopefully this will inspire you guys, even if you just paint a pot or whatever. You go to the Dollar Tree, get yourself a plastic pot. Um, like I said, I used the Dixie Belle Slick Stick to do my first layer because that Slick Stick is going to take any slick surface and make it paintable, if that's a word. Is that a word? Do I have any English teachers on here? Paintable. <laughs> um... Yeah, a little bit better. Okay. And then we're going to move that down and do the next layer. I'm just wiping off that paste. 
and we will keep going. All right. There wasn't a whole lot of dampness on that one. Okay, so now let me turn it a little bit to more drier spot. That way that part can dry a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna get bold and do a little bit bigger of a spot here. Now we do have larger squeegees. We have a four inch squeegee that would maybe make my life a little bit easier. But again, being on a curved surface, because the trick to this transfer, or really one of the major benefits is, is because it's got a screen mesh in it and it's sticky, you know, you don't get the bleeding that you sometimes get with a traditional stencil. And so you don't want air pockets. Um, and with this being a curved surface, sorry if you guys can't see this completely, but um, with this being a curved surface, I'm, I'm not getting it laying down completely flat. And so I'm trying to be very cautious not to get air bubbles. But to be honest with you guys, when there's a big pattern like this, if you do get an air bubble and it bleeds just a little bit, it's not such a huge deal because it's it's a busy pattern and you're not going to see like a little bit of a bleed. Look at that. What do you guys think? What do you think? What do you think? Okay. Yeah, this is going to go a little bit faster now that I kind of have a, a rhythm. A method to my madness. I just didn't want it to be too crooked. That's the one thing I think you would see is if the flowers all of a sudden were a little, a little crooked. Maybe you wouldn't. I don't know. Maybe that's just my OCD talking. Anybody else? Any other crafters have OCD? Is that like a crafting thing or is it just a Mia thing? Probably just a Mia thing. And the funny thing is, is I do not have OCD with everything in my life. It's very select areas of my life. My husband would be cracking up laughing at me right now if he heard me say I had OCD. Because he'd be like, you have what? Can you apply that in your life with like your craft room, like where, how it looks and you know, <laughs> storage and leaving things? Yeah. Oh. Okay. I'll do a nice little cleanup and we, that way we can get maybe the rest of the pot done with this last clean of the transfer. Let me do the back side. So who's going to be trying to upcycle a garden pot? <laughs> Anybody? Like I said, we're going to be talking some fun garden stuff in my crafting private crafting group. If you guys are interested in joining it, just type the word VIP in the comments and um, and you can join that crafting group. And uh, if you are interested in receiving text notifications from me of the next time I'm gonna go live, um, I have a, a text number. I don't think you can see it in, in this screen anymore. It's, it's on that piece of paper that's usually right below my iPad. I'll move it in a second. And if you just type your name and the word like notify me to that number, I don't know where it is. I blew it away. Um, to this number, I will notify you guys. All right. Okay, you guys, here we go. We're getting close to having this project done. I appreciate you guys hanging with me. Just kind of crafting and talking and crafting and talking. It 
it is so relaxing though. I actually really do enjoy using these products because like I said, sometimes I just need that instant gratification of a project, right? I need to know I can start and finish it in one setting and it can be done. Some of our projects can be done in five minutes. Some of them, you know, can take an hour. It really just depends on how much detail you want in the project. And, um, you know, and what size it is and what you're doing. But certainly, when you need a little creative outlet or you need a little reprieve from the day or whatever it is, um, it can, it does that for me. So, oh my gosh, you guys, so pretty. Like I said, I'm not too concerned about where I'm overlaying this because I'm finding that because of the design of the pattern, it doesn't really make a huge difference. It doesn't, it's not like matching up wallpaper, you know? I mean, I could be that uh, intentional about it, but I don't think there's a need to be. One little section left, you guys. And then we'll be good. And then our pot will be done. Really hope I'm not smearing the back side of this when I lay this down because I am pushing on that back side. This transfer is so pretty. I love Dollar Tree hacks. Dollar Tree has really stepped up their game in their crafting departments and um, everything else. I mean, it's pretty, pretty amazing what you can get there. And if you just have a little bit of an imagination or follow somebody who does Dollar Tree hacks on YouTube or Facebook or in blogs, you can come up with some pretty cool, sorry guys, I'm off the screen, some pretty cool projects. All you do is we're putting on a layer and then we're pulling that um, excess chalk off and using it in another spot or putting it right back in the container because we don't want to waste any any chalk. Um, but it doesn't take a whole lot. Like I said, the hardest part about this project is because it's a round surface. Um, it makes it a little bit more challenging, but you guys look at this. How pretty. I don't know if you can outwardly tell that they're roses per se, but it's just a really cool design. And you can tell when you look up closer, some French writing or some writing of some sort, some italics written there. Um, but I think it's super cute. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it? Did you like the project? Please let me know if you did. And if there's ever anything you guys want me to try or to do, I'd be willing. I, don't, I can't say I'll try anything because there's, there's a lot of things I'm not talented at and I just can't do it. <laughs> but I am willing to give certain things a try. Um, if there's something, I think, um, I'm going to, you know, garden stuff tends to be my thing right now. If you guys know about every couple of days, I, I get inspired by something and then I make it my topic and my crafting group. And then we have fun time, you know, talking about it. And, um, I get opinions from you guys and get to see, you know, if you guys share your projects and what you're working on, or maybe even just a way that you displayed your, um, your garden pots on your front porch or whatever it is. We'd love to see that sort of a thing. Um, 
but I will be doing some Father's Day shirts here, probably maybe tomorrow night or sometime this weekend because I need to get some Father's Day items in the boutique. And so um, I will be working those Father's Day items here shortly, which will be fun. We have some transfers that say gone fishing and a couple of other things. So anywho, that will be coming up. Let me pull you guys down from your perch up here. Oh my goodness. You guys can see my curtains. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging with me. And let me turn this back around. Maybe from another view, you guys can see this. Look at how pretty. Just a bunch of different flowers or different designs. I mean, you can see, like, here's that flower hanging down, right? When you really look at it, here's a nice, pretty leaf and another leaf. So you can see, look at these leaves. Big old rosebud flower up there. So pretty. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you want to join me in my crafting group, just type the word VIP below. I would love to have you. And if you have any questions whatsoever about chalk couture or crafting or whatever, I'll try to answer to the best of my ability. I'm certainly not a guru. I just enjoy it. So anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and I will see you soon. Bye.